Alright, hey guys, how's it going? And yeah, this is the rebuttal to my Ask Me Crap uh, question video thing. Uh, this isn't premeditated or anything, I'm just going to basically just go into the list of all the comments and answer them to the best of my ability. But anyway, starting with the first question, do you do live commentary when you record? Yes, I do, because I think that's faster and that's just better. Will there be a time when you quit YouTube or doing LPs, or uh, are you going to do LPs for a couple more years? I honestly think the sheer amount of games that I want to let's play is going to take me like probably like years to finish that and at the same time new games are coming out every year so I don't see a reason to quit I honestly like doing this do you like bubbles or yes I do what kind of music do you like rock um that's pretty much it not not like modern stuff really I'm more like a you know like I don't know like journey and stuff like those bands I guess really <laughs> and video game music of course but nah I'm not that much what got you into YouTube well the thing is, I, I bought a computer, and I it has the internet capabilities, and I type uh, YouTube in. And that's how I get into YouTube every day. But yeah. Uh, what do you like better, Mario, Luigi, Wario, or Waluigi? I definitely like Mario the most. <laughs> if you make a new Pokemon type, what would it be? I have no idea, because I think there's enough Pokemon types as it is. Uh, how does your... B -b 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 okay. What will be your last LP ever? I love this question. Like, <laughs> It's like, who said I was going to like quit? But uh, um. I guess if I was gonna quit, I would probably do one of my first LPs just to like wrap it up, you know, to see how like I came from here and I started. I'm talking like long time, like ten years or something, because I don't see a reason in quitting this. Um, what's your favorite Pokemon and favorite Pokemon game to date? I like this question actually, but um, pretty much my favorite Pokemon is probably Alakazam. Uh, without really thinking, it's pretty much like a lot of psychic types and probably Deoxys too. I think they're pretty uh, well tied. And my favorite Pokemon game to date, what I'd say would be the best Pokemon game to date, just gameplay wise, which would be Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, respectively. Uh, what got you motivated to do LPs? I really liked uh, the games I was playing, and I really wanted to show people how fun they were, so that's why I just started to make videos. What is your favorite type of dessert? That would be. Um. It's probably strawberry ice cream. Alright. And, okay, bur, bur, bur. Okay, what is your favorite anime? Um, that would probably be a tie between the melancholy of Haruhi, Susan Mia, or Haruhi. I can never say that on the first time. And Bo, 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 Bo. Two very different shows, but I like them both pretty much equally. What is your favorite childhood movie? Probably, um, Toy Story 1, because that's like the only childhood movie I ever had. And how did you come up with your name? I, actually, I don't know if I've actually explained this on the main channel or not. I may have done it in another video somewhere else, but... Okay, so... My name is John. Okay? My middle initial is E. And if you say them together, it's Johnny. Like, John E. Okay? And so, you know, all through my, like, life and stuff, and, you know, like, at school, John E, blah, 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 please come to here. And it's like, your name's Johnny? I didn't know that. And it's like, no, it's John. Oh, <laughs> And that's kind of the joke I had, and I was making, like, online stuff, and it'd say, do you want John E., because this is already taken, and I'd be like, yeah, huh, cool. So I kind of just used that, and I named my World of Warcraft character that, and I uh, named that on Xbox, so it kind of just became a little joke with me and myself, I guess. So, yeah, what is the strangest talent you have? Um, I don't really have a talent that's strange. I guess I can do kind of some weird impressions, but that's the closest thing I have to a talent. What shoe do you put on first? The left? Because I think the right just gets too much attention sometimes. Hmm. Have you ever been cow tipping? No, I enjoy cows, nor would I want to harm them in any way. Anyways, what would be your dream career? I honestly have no idea. I don't really think about stuff like that. If you had to choose to ever wash your bed sheets again, or not to wash your bath towel ever again, what would you rather not wash? Well, I'd probably well, I'd probably not wash the bed sheets, because I could just go hang out on the couch or something. I mean, yeah. Anyways, what's your... Okay, like, a, a lot of you people commented this. I mean, it's not, like, bad that a lot of people did it, but I guess I should just answer this question ahead of time. Which Let's Play was your biggest inspiration? Do you think this... Or, do you think that his or her style of videos reflect in your own? My biggest inspiration, literally, the thing that made me drive to make actually make videos and got me off my lazy butt, was um, Naka Talili. And th that guy's such a just... An, just... A fr okay, he's, he's a very different commentator. And that's really what I felt like. You know, I was kind of afraid, oh, I'm not going to be that big of a deal. Oh, I'm not going to be that big of a deal. And this guy just shows up out of nowhere, being, like, super diverse and everything, and just out of the norm. And I'm like, wow, I mean, <laughs> heck. It's, it's, and it was really different, and, you know, it really got, it really got me. He, his commentating style, though, just really not affect me at all. Because he's kind of like, uh, I don't want to call him strange or anything, but he's very, uh, 
different. That's, that's the best way I could put it. Um, yeah, that's that's my main inspiration, Nakata lately. So yeah. If you won a million dollars in the lottery, what would you do with it? I would probably give some of it to charity, to be honest. And, uh, you know, maybe properly invest it. You know, a lot of people don't do that, but eh, I'm smarter than that. If you could take a year off, go traveling, where would it be? That's an easy one, Japan, definitely. What's your favorite comic book character? That would be Spider-Man, just because I think it's a good character, and he's pretty darn cool. What are your top five pet peeves? No idea what those are. Are you a morning person or a night person? Definitely a morning person. I can pretty much wake up, like, no matter what time it is. Anyways, if you have the power to just utter a word and kill someone, no, I don't know how to answer that question, so I'm just going to ignore it. What consoles do you own? A Nintendo 64, a Wii, an Xbox 360, and I was touching those with my foot at the same time. Okay. Um, what consoles? Oh, yeah, I already read that one. <laughs> um, can you show me your gaming collection? I have, like, only a couple GameCube games, and, like, that's it. And some N64 cartridges. It wouldn't be that uh, interesting to show. I don't have a camera, so sorry, I can't. Uh, who inspired you to LP? Or do you answer that one? What's your favorite video game character of all time? That would be Sora from Kingdom Hearts, just because he's so happy and he kicks butt. Do you and be a partner on YouTube? Not really. What do you, what? Uh, wait, what? What do you do to record and stuff? Well, stuff is really vague. And record? What are you talking about? Who who told you about my puppet show that I recorded? I don't know. Eh. What other hobbies do you have besides playing video games? I collect things from Ch like Japan, but I will not get into what those things are. Which game do you like of all your LPs? My favorite LP to this date has to, like finished has to be Paper Mario without a doubt. I just really liked it a lot. Are you awesome? No. Shut up. Hello well. Just kidding. Whatever. How do I know you? Oh yeah, actually this is the person that was like, "Hey, what's up?" and he was like, "Who the crap are you?" and he was like, "Oh, I'll tell you later." So yeah. How tall are you? Um, I'm kind of tall, I guess. It's reasonable. Not super short or super tall. Uh, do you play Pokémon competitively? Um, I guess he means online. I used to, but not really that great at it. And what is your opinion on LP Mosh Pit? Like it in a lot, just, just, uh, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about that. Can we see your face? No! Um, what, or what got you into LPing? Okay, this is actually kind of different than what was my inspiration to LPing. Because one day I, I was just browsing YouTube, I didn't even have an account at that time. And I'll, I saw this game, and it was called Super Mario RPG. And I'm thinking, whoa, that's kind of detailed for a Flash game. Then I found out it was an actual game on the Super Nintendo, and I completely forgot about the Super Nintendo. I'm like, whoa, yeah, that exists. Holy cow. And I got really, I really, really wanted to play that game, like, super bad. Like, I don't know. And I was, like, trying to type in, oh, Super um, Super Nintendo, like, buy online cheap, and I can't find it, and I looked tried to look up the cartridge, and it was super expensive. I was like, oh, gosh, there has to be a way to play these games online for free. Just, yeah. And so then I started learning about the virtual console and stuff, and then I remembered all my N64 games I loved, and how it just completely just disregarded them once I play, started playing Xbox and stuff. And, I, you know, I really, I just really liked these games and wanted to show people that they're still really fun and stuff, so, yeah, that's kind of what got me into LPing, because that's kind of what I do on my channel, I show people games, and hopefully they'll remember them and play them themselves, that's kind of what I do. And what is your first game on each console? That's, pretty, that's a pretty good question, even though I don't I haven't owned that many consoles in my whole life. Um, the first console I owned was the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, and that came with uh, original Mario, so you know, that's an easy one. On the N64, though, Donkey Kong 64 was my first game I ever played on that, and I really love that game. On the GameCube, of course, I got Melee first over Luigi's Mansion, because Melee is awesome. Super Smash Brothers, I'm talking, but yeah. And I guess on the Xbox, I guess this counts. I had this, just this random game called Chrome Hounds. It was, it was alright, I guess. It wasn't... You know, Nothing great, but I was just so astonished by I can play online. This is amazing. Um, oh yeah, I, f I forgot about the um, uh, handheld systems too. Uh, my first thing on the DS, I believe, was Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I really liked that game a lot. On the uh, original Game Boy, I had Pokemon Yellow. On the uh, Game Boy Advance, I had this really weird Lego game. I think it was like Bionicle or something. It was okay, I guess. Oh yeah, and on the Wii, my first game was um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now I really, really like that game. But yeah, so there you go. I don't really own that many consoles. Anyways, okay, what is, color is your cat? Okay, um, black and white. It has green eyes. Yeah. Pokemon Mario video game was Mario. I'm gonna say it. Can I have a hug? No. Which do you prefer? What do you think will be better, the 3DS or the PlayStation Vita? Not sure if the 3DS gets some good games, uh, could really take off. Same for the Vita. Uh, I really don't have either, so I can't really comment on that. 
Okay, can we see your face? No, I don't have a camera. What's your name? Do I win? No, you don't win. Uh, if you could answer any question, which question would you answer? That one. What do you think of um, created content in games like Little Big Planet and Minecraft? Honestly, I'm kind of a uh, narrow-minded gamer, I guess you can say. I really like the side-scrolling and stuff. I'm not one of those like uber-creative persons that just flourishes and like all these like user-created stuff. But uh, people do cool stuff with it, and I guess they can uh, keep doing that. Okay, what's your favorite Nintendo series and why? All right, I don't have five favorite because there's no way I could like categorize them. But definitely Zelda is my favorite Nintendo uh, series and, and game just all together. And what is your favorite game? Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Do you have a 3DS? No, but the games I want on it. Um, Kid Icarus, I really think it looks really cool. Um, the Paper Mario on there, obviously, I'm going to get because I love Paper Mario. Um, have to think. I really don't know like everything that's on the 3DS, but those two games are definitely something I really want to get. It. Do you have an Xbox or a PS3? I have an Xbox, but lately I've been kind of wanting to get a PS3 just for uh, some of the games on there. Uh, can you do some commentaries on Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3 when they come out? No, I have no intentions on buying either of those games. I'm sorry. That's uh, kind of not what I do. I mean, I hardly even play my Xbox anymore, but yeah. Okay. What Pokemans should I use in Misty's Gym? You need to get as many Fire-type Pokemon as possible. Trust me. Okay. Have you ever played Final Fantasy X or... Or eight. No, have you ever played Final Fantasy X and X-10 or X-2? I've played neither of those games, and I really don't want to play the second one, because it looks kind of weird. Have you ever thought of traveling? Yes! And then the referee told me I was... You know, I had a penalty. And... Da, 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 da. Is the Wii U for you? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I like the whole GameCube thing, and it's, it's, I don't know. Depends on the games that they come out for it. Have you ever played No More Heroes or its sequel? No, because that game looks kind of meh. I mean, it looks really fun, just <laughs> kind of, you know, whoa. This, this is on the Wii? I mean, holy cow. Yeah. Um, What other LPers do you watch? Previous, or did you watch? That's actually an important question. Previous to starting your own channel, and which ones would you say have the main inspiration doing what you do? Um, Nintendo Capri Sun, because one day I was like, or actually it was the first day I ever got my laptop. And uh, this is back when YouTube had the videos watching now, and I saw Wind Waker, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that game. Because at the time I was playing Ocarina of Time, too, so yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll check out some uh, Wind Waker footage. And then I hear this guy, you know, just having all this like fun and stuff, and I'm like, wow, that's really cool and stuff, yeah. And then I didn't think much about it, and then, then the very next day I see Wind Waker again, videos being watched now. I'm like, holy crap, what, the, what are the chances? And so I watch that again, and I find out, let's get this guy's just played all these games and talked over them, and he shares his memories and stuff, and this, I just like that idea for some reason. And so I eventually made the YouTube account, subscribed to him, and actually started finding out that a lot of people did this, and a lot of people had different stories, and so for some reason that just clicked in my mind, and hey, um, actually, the reason I started my YouTube channel, I was eventually, or, uh, the main point of my channel was to actually do Machinima, but due to hardware issues, I just gave up on that idea. And then, like, I just saw the Let's Playing thing. It's like, oh, this is something I could actually do. And, you know, people say I'm kind of funny and stuff, so, yeah, maybe I can do this. And, uh, here I am now. Derp derp. What's your daily routine? Um, I, I poop. I go to school sometimes. And it's, it's, <laughs> I don't really have a daily, daily routine. Do you watch anime? Yes, I do. Just not really on TV, because I don't think there's any on TV anymore. It's your favorite video game genre? Um, I guess kind of action-adventure. I mean, platformers are probably up there. But without a doubt, like, if you could classify Zelda into a, like, a genre, I'd, I'd say that's my favorite. Um, b -b 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 -b, can you describe a normal day in Johnny Awesome's life? No, I can't, because no day is normal. Ugh. Which games, uh, started for... Okay, which game started your love for games? Donkey Kong... 64. Without a doubt. Because I was playing, you know, stuff on the NES. It was kind of static. I wasn't really good at any of the games, because if you played NES games, you know they're kind of hard. And I was like, yeah, that's cool and stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to play with, uh, like, Legos and crap. And then I get Nintendo 64 for Christmas one day. And my, my, my entire perception of what was fun was just thrown out the door. Have you even played that game? That's like, there's like, it's so it's like you can explore everything, just pick up bananas, and it was in 3D. I finally felt like I needed to play a game. Or actually, um, what? I mean, my mom just didn't buy me an N64 for no reason. Actually, uh, 
I think I went to somebody's house one time and they were playing, uh, they were asking me if you want to play Mario Kart 64, and I'm like, what's Mario Kart? And, uh, just, we played the Rainbow Ride track. Of course, I was awful, because it was, like, the first game I ever played, and I was like, oh my gosh. Because the colors were just so crazy and stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck, this game's amazing! And yeah, that was, that was just, that's what got me into gaming and stuff, and, yeah. Anyways, out of, what system do you have? Wait, okay, I'm not gonna answer the, the first part of this, because I already told you what systems I have. But which ones are your favorite? Alright, so out of all the systems I've ever owned, I think, hands down, the Nintendo 64 is my favorite. Not to say the Wii and the GameCube and the GBA and stuff are bad. It's just, uh, it's, it's kind of the nostalgic factor, I guess you can say. It has an unfair advantage, really. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. Oh, and the final question, what, why are you so awesome? Exclamation points. Don't know.